Hiya. So today, homemade pregnancies. If you don't have the money, don't have the time, want it to be in privacy, then this is for you. So we have soap, we have bicarbonated soda, we have sugar, and we have bleach. Soap. So you get my point. All we need to add to these ingredients is, ta-da, you thought right, we. <laughs> so, this is how it goes. I'm going to start with soap. Well then, here we go then. This is the soap pregnancy test. Right then, it says you can use any type of bathing soap for performing this test. Take a small piece of soap and pour your urine on it. If it forms bubbles, it means you are pregnant. If you are in, if not, you are not pregnant. Now, what's, what's, what have we got next? Bicarbonate soda. Right then, the next one for that one is take two tablespoons of baking soda, add two tablespoons of urine to it. Now observe the reaction. If you see bubbles, like you, like you see when you open a soda bottle, you are pregnant. Which one's next? Sugar! Right then, the sugar one. If I can find it, it is. Hang on. <laughs> I'm trying to go scrolling down your screen. I'm going to find it. Right then. Um, where is the sugar one? Right. 2,000 <laughs> years later. <laughs> right, sugar. The easiest test, the easiest of all tests. This method wow. is most widely used when there are no scientific pregnancy tests available. <laughs> Take one tablespoon of sugar in a bowl, add one tablespoon of well, urine. Now notice how sugar reacts after you pour urine on it. If the sugar starts foaming and falling, clumps, it means you are pregnant. And if the sugar dissolves quickly, it means you are not pregnant. The HCG hormone released from the urine does not allow the sugar to dissolve properly. And next we have bleach. Right. Yeah, this method is said to give the most accurate and quicker results than any other method. Take a clean container and collect urine in it. Now add some bleaching powder to it and mix it properly to avoid lumps. If the mixture forms a foam or fizz, it means you are pregnant. And if there's no foam, you are not pregnant. But although we are not sure whether you can use the normal bleach that we are showing or whether you need to use powder, this is where the science comes in. Down to you. I'm going to make some wee up now and I will be straight back with you guys. Tick, 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 tick.